Hi friends, today we are starting with the first chapter, Source of Food. Why we need food is for the nourishment and it comes from the Greek word trophy. It means nourishment. There are two types of nourishments. One is autotroph. The second one is heterotrophs. Now let's see the meaning of it. As the term indicates, autotrophs means they prepare on food. Example, plants. Heterotrophs means they depend upon other sources. Example, animals. Functions of food. First, it gives energy. Second, it promotes growth. Third, it protects us from diseases. The source of food is mainly divided into plants and animals. Ingredients are the materials we use for the preparation of food. Example, oil, spices, water, etc. Plants as a source of food. Here we consider the edible parts of plants which can be used as food. The examples are roots, carrot, stem, onion, leaves, cabbage, flowers, cauliflower, fruits, mango, seeds, rice. We obtain honey, meat, egg from animals. Apiculture is the rearing of honeybee for honey. Poultry is keeping bird for egg and meat. On the base of the eating habits of animals, they are divided into six. Herbivorous means they feed on plants, example, cow. Carnivorous means they feed on flesh, example, tiger. Omnivorous, they feed on both plants and animals, example, humans. Scavengers feed on dead bodies, example, vultures. Decomposers feed on decaying plants and animals, example, bacteria. Parasites means they depend upon other living animals for food. Food chain gives us idea about who eats whom. There are two parts in a food chain. One is producer, second one is consumer. Producer means they prepare the food, example plants. Consumer means they feed on the producer, example deer and other animals. A food chain mainly having two functions. One is transfer of food from one to other. Second, transfer of energy from one to other. I hope the portion is clear. Thank you.